Hi, I'm Charles Springle, Director of Acoustics and Systems Engineering at Cali Audio. It's Frequently Asked Questions Friday, and today's question is, why does the Santa Monica speaker have a metal dome tweeter when the other speakers you produce have a fabric dome tweeter? In order to answer that question, let's talk about what our product does for a living. We design studio monitors. Studio monitors aren't a product that's designed to be occasionally listened to. These are a product that are made for working professionals listening to this product for eight and 10 hours at a time. And one of the things that is important to our users is comfort. And for that purpose, a fabric dome tweeter is very easy to listen to. And that having been said, a fabric dome tweeter, just by the nature of what it is above about 10 kilohertz, doesn't have the dynamic resolution because that fabric dome starts to break up. To get that dynamic resolution, you have to move to a metal dome tweeter. But metal dome tweeters aren't without their drawbacks. One of the things that happens with a metal dome tweeter, like an aluminum dome tweeter, is above 20 kilohertz, it has a very strong breakup mode. Breakup mode is when basically the, the cone starts to move non-pistonically. And it starts to, rather than move as a piston, it starts to have a chaotic movement. And what that manifests itself in the frequency domain is a very strong resonance, a big peak past 20 kilohertz. And you may not hear that peak, but you might hear what that peak does in the audio band. In order to obtain that dynamic resolution, what we've done is understand how that resonance is happening and to slightly modify the geometry of that tweeter, not to get rid of the resonance. You can't do that. That's just physics. But what we can do through careful manipulation of the geometry is to blunt or to round off that resonant peak. You won't hear the effect of that resonant peak in the audio band. The result is an aluminum dome tweeter that retains that dynamic resolution, but without any of the other things that people have attributed to listener fatigue. It sounds like a soft dome tweeter, but with more dynamics.